And welcome to the Plastic Crack Show. This is our very first episode, so we thought we'd go with something really cool. We're going with, of course, the Lego Marvel Superheroes. Wrong direction. Avengers Age of Ultron. Iron Man vs. Ultron. This is piece 76029. It's recommended for ages 6 to 12. Of course, we know most collectors are going to go for it anyway. So, of course, we can see straight up, this is sort of the, the mid-range pack. So, it's not like a minifig pack. It's sort of retails in Australia here for about $20. Uh, we can see from the front of the packaging that you, of course, get the Mark 48, I believe it is, Iron Man armor. And, of course, three of the Ultrons or Ultron minions. Uh, obviously, that the time this movie is being, or video is being shot, the movie is yet to be released. So... We don't really know exactly how these work, but we assume that they are, of course, variants of the Ultron concept. To do a quick run around the box, obviously, we can see on the front, it's, of course, got the, a static image of, of course, the what you could do with it. So, basically, a scenery, a scenery image. Uh, it has, of course, the Avengers Age of Ultron logo in the bottom right-hand corner. Standard Lego image or logo in the top left hand corner uh, there is actually meant to be a, an avengers motif there but unfortunately the retailer has stuck a sticker over it as we come around the side there's of course you uh, killing it with the light aren't i there's your obligatory warnings do not chew do not eat contains small parts not recommended for kids between zero and three years old the back's a bit different the back actually has some pretty cool stuff on it so let's have a quick zoom in and look so again we get sort of a scene a mass scene of what it looks like so of course the figures off the vehicle this time around um, we can see that obviously there should be three full ultron figures in there uh, we get a little bit of a, a look down in the bottom left hand uh, bottom right uh, left hand corner yes um at what should be let's see if we can whoop, zoom in on it Mind the fingers, controls. Of course, basic assembly of the vehicle with the figures. So, obviously, you see there is some disassembly required. Of course, when we come to the top right hand, we see a fairly... It's not a feature I'm familiar with. It may be an old a Lego feature that's been around for a while, but it's, of course, called the Super Jumper, which is apparently something that they're going to be putting in a lot of the new Age of Ultron figures for Iron Man. And, of course, there is an indication there that the Ultron figure himself is not secured into the vehicle. So, again, there's not much. I mean, we get a one-to-one -one scale image. Oh, hang on. Get it where the camera can see it. Pan out. The light is terrible. We get a one-to-one -one scale shot on the side of, of course, Iron Man as we pan out. Again, you can see it's just got the, the Legos superheroes logo with the lego insignia on the side so of course let's pop this sucker open and see what's actually in there so again it's that standard sort of just pop the side pull it out because you get one bag two bags and a fairly considering this it's only a fairly small pack you get a fairly sizable set of instructions because again you get the imagery on the front standard sort of lego-y thing on the side a little bit of instructions on how to use the the super jumper feature and then instructions on how to build it um, and then you know we won't go through that because we obviously we're going to build it in a moment and then at the back of course there's more about the actual super jumper feature and how it's supposed to work so we're going to pop away, and of course obviously uh, your bits manual so to pop away for a second we'll be back with a built version to have a look at Now we're back with the completed product. Of course, this is the Iron Man versus Ultron pack. Then we'll get Iron Man out of the way for a minute, because Iron Man's really Iron Man. And this is the actual, the, the Ultron flyer, I suppose. I mean, just the, the box says Iron Man versus Ultron. So we say this is the flyer. So you, there's three Ultrons on here, obviously. So there's one there. The, the, the kit makes you part, sort of, the, the instructions show you to break them up into bits. So so there's actually a, an Ultron, if we can sort of side on it, there's an Ultron here. He's got, of course, one of those new, or newish, if you will, um, little gun launchers. As you can see, there's a set of legs just here. Oop. I think it sort of balances it a little bit weak. There's a set of legs there. They're obviously supposed to be part of the propulsion system, if you will. 
as we come around of course there's the back of it you can see that we'll look at some more of this as we go around um, as we come around to this side of course there's another set of legs there again with acting as a form of propulsion there's another Ultron there again with one of those newer sort of friction fire or, or push fire guns and of course there's a, an Ultron up there and he's essentially held in by this little if I can keep my hands clear a bit this little mechanism here which is basically just a little swivel I don't know if we're going to be able to see that too well so we might just focus in a little bit more you can sort of see this little swivel here which just locks into his backpack there there we go and that and that's to hold him in place because he actually is only held in by friction and that, that's to do with this new super jump feature that is of course being touted by this kit and obviously a lot of the new age of ultron kits and of course you can see that there's another set of legs there so let's look at that super duper super jump feature so this is the piece so this is the the new super jump piece so it's a it's a piece of semi-flexible plastic so it's got a, obviously as you can see it's got a fairly wide base with a little u-shape on it and of course it's got a little pivot point on the back so you can push it down to spring it and of course it's a standard two by one configuration for lego on the top which of course your normal any normal lego figure would be able to of course click into it it is a very tight fit too so it does take a little bit to click him in but of course then he's in and of course that's the new mark 42 i think it is iron man armor so the idea is, and we'll go through all the figures in a minute, but so the idea here is, of course, you, you remove this back, and then you would, of course, tilt Iron Man forward a little bit at a point where he's not going to fall, and then you would, of course, put him somewhere close to Ultron and flick him, and he's supposed to flick Ultron out of his thing. It doesn't really work, but the idea is because Ultron should fall backwards and out. It's an angle game. You've got to obviously get used to the angles and that to make it work properly. Nah. So let's look at, have a look at the figures. So we'll start off with the Iron Man figure because obviously it's a new armour for the new film. They're, they're, let's see if we can get this a bit closer, look at it a bit better, a bit nicer. So the, help, the helmet's not that dissimilar to other versions of the Iron Man. It's still got that nice little lift up face. Again, you know, Tony Stark's got that sort of you know, double face on him, so one there, there's sort of the angry Iron Man on the back, and of course the, the more sedate ang Iron Man on the front. Of course you can see, and I've got to try and get the, the lighting right for the angles, that of course there's this new sculpting on the front, it's a little bit more, you know, it's, it's still Iron Man, it's obviously the, the new armour, it's, it's painted, it of course chases down onto the legs, again on the back, the, the back plate armor is still the same nice gold bit of gold bit of silver in it you know nice little trim of gold there silver through the nice parts and of course it looks good it's iron man though we've seen every you know iron man we've seen so many iron man now it's it's more or less you know what little changes they can make so that's iron man and of course then we have the ultrons the ultrons of course are attached to this so you actually have to take the kit apart to make to put your ultrons together so because there's two different Ultrons here. They're actually all the same, but there's a few little accessories that make them a bit different. So we have to take that Ultron off, take it around, pull the legs off the side, the legs off the side, and then, of course, that Ultron off. And while we're looking at the vehicle, the, the really only other function other than the, the, that piece there, well, you know, that piece there is, of course, the wings do ratchet. But that's it. There's no flick fire missiles, there's no fancy stuff, it's a real basic kit. But as I said, it's a $20 kit. So then we, of course we'll put our Ultron legs on our Ultron figures. Of course they've got the little blue pieces on them to you know fly because obviously these are modified versions of the Iron Man suit. We'll just for the purposes of this figure take that off. We'll put a set of legs on this figure as well just to go through because there's a few little changes, a little difference between the two so we have a look at this one again it's a sort of very mechanical looking front it's painted it's not a decal it's the same with the legs it's a very mechanical set of legs I just try and get a bit of a better look 
the lighting is not the best. I'm shadowing like crazy today. That might be better. The head, I don't know about this head. I mean, obviously it's the Ultron head, but it just looks really goofy. So it's not a, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it too well. It's not a real pretty head. And of course, but now this is just the back of the head. There's no second face for Ultron. Sort of more mechanical looking. The same with the back. It's very mechanical looking. I don't know if the video shows this, but there's obviously blue highlights. But essentially, it's it's just different colors of silver and black. And it's the same on the front. You know, there's some blue highlights, but essentially, it's just different shades of silver and black. Because that's that's the. I suppose these are supposed to be like the base Ultrons. Maybe it's the, the minion Ultrons, if you want. And this is obviously meant to be like a, a slightly upgraded version of Ultron. So. He, of course, comes with these two long antenna attached to his back. The body, the actual torso is the same as the other Ultrons. There's no real difference. Same with the legs. He comes with this nice little helmet, which obviously is meant to make him different. If you have a look, of course, the head is the same sculpt as the other two Ultrons. And, of course, he comes with this nifty little put-it-together-yourself backpack that comes with it. I mean, the big bonus on this is it's clear, so it does sort of hide nicely. But... That's it there. It's a little two by one plastic with a with a neck joint so you can just stick it in there and obviously it's a couple of black antennae. And of course then there's Ultron's head back on. And the light has failed me again. And of course this this is actually not a bad helmet. And I could see other applications for this helmet. You know, this it comes with this Ultron kit, but I can see this being used in other Lego applications. It's a very nice looking sort of Viking helmet inspired look. So I can see army builders and that in the Lego groups just sort of buying this kit to get hold of these helmets and, and make other use of them. So that's it. That is, of course, the Ultra um, Iron Man versus Ultron uh, Avengers Age of Ultron Lego Kit 76029 um, retails as I said around $20 so thank you very much for watching and um, remember to rate, subscribe and uh, tune in for next time